Hello, I'm a VX extra cat, and one of the things you don't realize until you look directly at them is just how many Minecraft blocks there are in the current versions of the game. This is every single block or stair block that you can find in the current Bedrock version of Minecraft, and you can see just how many different colors and themes we have across all of these different blocks. And you suddenly start to realize that it's no surprise that most people, when making a house, make it out of the same small variety of blocks because using all of them would be entirely impractical, right? Well, today, what we're gonna be trying to do is use every single block precisely once and try to make the best Minecraft house we can. It's going to be a real challenge, but that's what we're doing, and it, let's see how this goes. And just in case this sounds familiar, I actually did something like this a few months ago in a previous Minecraft version with less blocks, uh, but interestingly enough, this was when YouTube premieres were new, so it meant that the video published as a live stream, it became pretty much invisible, and usually that would be upsetting, like, oh no, no one got to see the video that I spent time work working on. However, in this case, the end result was pretty tragic, I mean, to say the least, right? So today, we'll be trying and fixing our mistake, making a better house than this, I mean, not that that's too hard, and we'll be trying to do so using every single block once, going in alphabetical order. So we're going to start with the acacia wood, move on to the planks, and we're going to place them in that order until we end up with the yellow wall, the very last block in the pack. It's going to be fun, especially because we have some new blocks in 1.9, like mossy stone bricks, polished granite stairs, etc. It's going to be kind of fun, and we're going to just dive straight into this one with the acacia wood and our first block placement. So yeah, I think our first block placed on a brand new house is always going to be a challenging one, but I'm just going to go with it right there, maybe make a tree from that later, and then we're also going to start with our doorway, just over here, then have a piece of furniture, because everyone likes to use, uh, you know, stairs as a sofa, and I, I don't understand why, but you know, if we're going to give this our best shot, we're going to need to do something like that, so a little seat over there, and then some andesite, I guess, should also go in the garden near the tree, right? So we'll just have a little patch of andesite just over there. Look at that, uh, we've now gotten this done. However, I think the andesite stairs have given us our first real challenge. It's our first new block from Minecraft 1.9 or 1.14 and it just raised the issue of just like where does this go in the slightest when you don't know where your house properly is and the answer to that is probably not anywhere. We could place it upside down and use it as another uh, and a site block, but we'll just kind of dive into it, place a staircase there, and now we've got some outdoor seating as well because everyone loves seats, right? I guess I'll place, yeah, the plank here and then we can use the little seat and sit next to it just like that. And now we've got ourselves a little house. By the way, just as a fun extra rule, I'm gonna make it so I can never unplace a block once I've placed it. So we have to live with this seat, sofa, uh, this, this little table arrangement, I guess, that we've made right here. So one of the mistakes that I feel like I made last time, and I'm going to try and rectify this time, is I didn't really focus enough on my uh, ceiling until the very end. Then I just kind of panicked and threw everything there. This time, we're going to deliberately use all the dark blocks for the ceiling, because having a black ceiling, uh, you know, it's not recommended in real life interior design. In case you're curious as to why, by the way, it's because it actually makes it look like it's a cave, and you psychologically think the room is smaller. So if you want to set a house, pro tip, always try and make the room white or a light color, because then it looks bigger rather than smaller, and people will feel like they're buying a bigger house, which is arguably manipulative, but I mean, it's what people do. Every time you feel like things are going on track, you get a wild card of the next few blocks, and in this case, our next few blocks are a bunch of different, like, mineral-style blocks. Like, what are we meant to do with all of these? I don't really entirely know, but uh, I guess we now have some quartz, which we'll use just back here, because we're going to have a secret back door, of course, so we'll use that just next to the back door, I guess, and then put our redstone up there. Kind of like we did last time, just as a way to have like a nice, like all the mineral blocks in one place. I, I kind of like it, maybe you don't. So the key lesson that I learned from the last house and not having enough blocks to finish it is that you always think you have more blocks than you do. So I'm gonna try and make this house as small as possible so we can actually finish it. And that includes placing the library in the same room as the living room. You know, this is a small cramped apartment living in the inner city somewhere or something. We don't have space for everything. And also making a fountain out of the uh, coral block which inevitably will die because we have no source of water yet. I have no idea why I thought this was a good idea, but I placed all the chisel blocks on top of one another, and I thought it would look slightly better than it does. They don't really have any connection to each other, do they? <laughs> okay, so I've got my first actually useful block for this little house we're making. It's a crafting table, which I think should go on top of the bookshelf, like it's kind of like a TV stand or something. I know, I, I think that's a good placement. And also we've got the dark oak block, so I'm going to start working on the entrance now. And if we use like dark oak on one side, and then the strip dark oak, and then the planks maybe... Uh, up just up here, then maybe we could use that to the best of our ability and we could use that as like a uh, You know like a, a doorway pillar thing. I, I'm not even sure at this point I know dead coral needed to be added to make coral have a sense But I just hate it as a block like does anyone build of this and have a good time? It's just so sad and empty and missing something My intention was to use this as a water fountain and have this like pour off the sides But I think I've planned down here poorly So it's just gonna spill onto that and then spill further. So we've got a big uh, cover up we need to do 
People say that childbirth is hard, but have you ever tried to find a spot for a dropper inside your house? I don't think you have, or you would not be saying those uh, things, would you? So we only have one glowstone we can use, and this and the jack-o'-lantern are our only sources of light. So we're going to use this as a way to uh, activate our ice block and turn it into, uh, you know, obviously some water, which will make my water feature actually work. I have no idea where a single grass block is going to fit the best. Like, I, I literally have zero clue. Like, I could place it there so the tree doesn't like let you pass or I could place it there maybe like there's there's just nowhere that makes sense for this so we're gonna make a nice little I guess front garden hill feature just like that look what a great block gravel uh, look what a great block grass is in that case also look what a great block gravel is like what are we meant to do with this also like place it inside there I, I guess so right like just hide it in the hole hope no one notices so I'm gonna level with you all I don't think this is looking so great so far but I mean there's there's plenty of blocks left. We're only on the G's, right? There's there's plenty more to come that we can fix this with. Okay, here comes the ice. We're gonna place it up there, and then we've gotta really, really hurry with the blocks <laughs> underneath it to just hope that this all comes together to make something uh, that is safe here. We have a second uh, jack-o'-lantern we can use as another source of light. I think I'll use it to light up the garden so that when it gets late out and you just see some water flowing, you have like another thing to latch onto, and then we'll place our best stuff back there. So you just look past the rest of the garden, which is more and more tragic by the second. Oh, the water is finally broken, and it is beautiful. Look at my fountain. Look at the way it pours and then never stops pouring in any direction, really. Uh, and it also goes into my house, it seems, right up to the dining room table. Which, I mean, really, how many people get to have a beach view from their dining room tables? Not anyone else, just, just me right here. See, now the good news here is that by placing my kooky blocks in the corner here, I'm actually slowing the flow of the water as well, and now you can see the leaks since the house have stopped. The flooding has gone much better, which is really uh, a good thing. That's 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 positive, I think we can all agree. And to add a little insult to the injury, the next blocks were just going to be mossy stone bricks and mossy cobblestone anyway. So my plan is to use these to make an artisanal little window like there. So you can see right into the water feature from the house, from the dining room even. So here's an interesting fact you might not know, as my game almost crashes. Uh, but even though all of these blocks exist separately in the creative inventory, if you try to pick block any of them, you get that exact same block at the end there. If you want this one, you get this block. You want to pick block that, you get that one again. Uh, it's impossible to actually pick block these ones. You have to use the creative inventory, uh, which is very bizarre, very strange stuff. But it's what you have to do, because Bedrock handles mushrooms in a very strange way. Speaking of handling mushrooms in a very strange way, I think this just, like... It sucks as a way to use mushrooms, but it means my fountain is now complete. I think the fountain is just a bit too close to the house, though, like, <laughs> for comfort. But, I mean, if we ignore that, if we leave that to the side, then things are going wonderfully again. One of the admittedly very small benefits of having uh, this fountain be so large is it's kind of expanded the rest of my garden, at least just a little bit, which means I can have this little chair over here where you can sit and you can watch the fountain. Oh, these blocks are off-center. Why is everything so horrifically off-center in this garden? <laughs> like, what is this? <laughs> There are so many blocks in Minecraft that just go with nothing, and you know, I know that was a whole part of the premise of this video, but like, Purple, where are you ever meant to use this if you have a house made of anything else? Like, I guess we put it in the garden, we just display the blocks and say how pretty they are, but like, what else are we meant to do with it, for real? Like, I guess it vaguely blends in with the purple, so maybe we could use it as some corner parts of the house. Also, I didn't realize till just now, but I think my house is off-center by a block. <laughs> yeah, it goes three blocks out this way, and it's gonna go out two blocks this way. Well, I guess it goes four blocks that way and three blocks this way. So, you know, we've made a mistake on the sizing again. But I mean, like, I think in this case, that can work to my benefit because asymmetry is actually beautiful when it comes to... You, no one wants something that's perfectly symmetrical. So maybe being imperfectly symmetrical will save the day. So just in case you haven't heard the good news, then uh, I actually am now going to be finishing my doorway very, very soon. Look at that. We're starting to get some actual second half of this going. Look how... Beautiful and wonderful it is. And also, we have to work out places for stuff like stone and stone stairs and stuff. So I'm going to double down my piston placement and just pretend that that is just not working for some reason. I'm going to place my stripped blocks that I can't otherwise use on my beautiful, beautiful tree that's coming together there. And then we're going to place, just like this, our stripped dark oak wood just over there. Oh, wait, we have to go back, back to the tree, place these ones over there. And then look, just like that, 
we finished our entrance. This was the grand vision all along. So the crazy thing about coral is the only bit of coral that gets to be placed after the ice is this tube coral block, but it means I get to pick one piece of coral that's actually gonna live, actually gonna be viewable, seeable, etc. So I'm gonna have to pick this one very carefully, but I think I'll place it just up here. We're on the last 13 blocks now though, so we have to be very careful about where every single one of them is placed. We're gonna kind of finish this weird little border wall thing, and then we're also gonna just like kind of finish the outside, because although it's pretty much finished on every angle, we should turn that pretty much into a very much so. Okay, so my last four blocks here are gonna be the most nerve-wracking of all of them, because we can make a difference here. We could suddenly change the house and make it beautiful. So we're just gonna make sure that both sides of this are equal. That means one more block over there. Glazed terracotta, it doesn't really ever look good on the inside, it's just a necessary evil. Then we have a bit of yellow glass, which we could probably fit like, I guess there is like a bit of a ceiling block, but also, yeah, you know, I like that. And then we've got two more bits, and I, I guess the only logical placement is to place one on each side of this doorway, probably. Yep, yeah, that's, that's definitely, oh wait, yeah. Actually, yeah, like there and there. That definitely was a terrible mistake. I regret that very, very much. But we have now used every single one of Minecraft blocks, uh, every single one together. Uh, we excluded a few weird transparent ones. We excluded at least. There's, uh, every single time this comes up, people are like, but what about this block, that block? The truth is, you can always make an arbitrary list. What even is a block? Can blocks that are 90% block, like the chest count? Uh, the criteria we used, uh, again, I was very clear about in the last video. And now I've placed every single one of those blocks down. And it feels pretty good. It took a very long time. This took uh, 55 minutes if you don't know, start to finish. There's a lot of hard decisions in there, and if you tried, if you were good at building <laughs> better than me for sure, then that would be even harder. But as always, when we make a terrible build kind of by accident, uh, one of the things I like to do is give you a little bit of a sales pitch, a bit of a house tour. So that's what we're going to be doing just next. IBX Toy Cats House Reviews. The most trusted reviews in houses. <laughs> So hello, I'm Abby X Toycat, and welcome back to my house review series where I check out houses and convince you the why you should totally build slash buy them in your Minecraft world. I'm not sure how this series works, like are you buying the houses? Not that you can actually buy a Minecraft house, but here's a house that you should totally make in your next Minecraft world because it's an absolute beauty of a plot. As you can see, uh, they've terraformed the land perfectly. They flattened it, but they've placed one block just out here just to show that hills are still possible in this world, but they only want one of them. You know, have a perfect clean outside uh, appearance like like that. Show off how clean you are by making it dirty. It's it's a real thing. Uh, and yeah, uh, then you can see there's a bit of bedrock here showing that yes, this does in fact use some creative blocks sometimes, but that shouldn't let you uh, be fooled because the inside is very, very, very roomy. Uh, you'll never feel like you're too far away from someone standing in the same room. You know that awkward thing where you're like, hey, come over here, and someone can't quite hear you, they're on the wrong side of the room. You never have that issue in this room because you, you know, you whisper over here, anyone in the room is hearing you, which is wonderful. Also, what is wonderful is this little chair right here. As you can see, you can sit in it. Although, you know, Minecraft sitting is kind of BS anyway, but you can't actually sit in it as a Minecraft character. It's encouragement to lose weight because you're not, you're too fat. Look at you, you fat cat like there. You know, you, look how thick the arms are, the body proportion is like there. There is some serious dieting need to be done here and this house would encourage you to do it. Also, we've got this nice little talisman in the background because, you know, there's a little bit of uh, fancy collector stuff. We've got all the necess uh, necessities. We've got a bookshelf. We've got a dispenser, a dropper, a crafting table, a jukebox you can't use because it's covered up with a note block. But still, we can play some music in here too. Boop, 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 boop. It's, it's fun stuff. Uh, the house is also beautifully designed. It's got every single color in there. 16 different colors of blocks. Four different varieties, six different varieties, I think, uh, off those different blocks. It's absolutely wonderful uh, in that way. You're going to need to brace yourself because we have the world's rarest tree. It's a tree made from eight different types of wood, or four types of wood, but twice. And uh, this is something you don't find in everyone's Minecraft house. People were not brave enough to make stuff like this, but Toy Cat, I think you'll find that he actually was. Then uh, you can also see going around here, we've got some garden furniture. Uh, this this right here is a beautiful display. Uh, and then we've got the, the coup de gras, the, the beauty centerpiece. We've got a fountain, a fountain, which I think you'll find uh, flows in a perfectly square and balanced and symmetrical way. Nothing different going on here. Don't look too close to it though. And then, yeah, the really cool thing about this is the plot uh, boundaries. Instead of having a fence, instead of having a wall, instead of having nothing there, uh, as you can see, there's a variety of different blocks used here. And honestly, uh, to finish the little sarcastic house review, I kind of like the way that all appears. I really do actually kind of like this house. And I think that, you know, this isn't a good house. This isn't a house, if you saw by itself, you'd be like, that's so amazing. You'd be like, oh, so it looks like someone allowed their eight-year-old brother to play Minecraft again or something. However, uh, the interesting thing about this is like, actually though, I think 
that it's uh, a big improvement over last time. If you compare it to the house that we made as on our like first blind attempt, where it's not even really a house by any definition, and this garden isn't a garden by any definition, we've actually made something that's real. We made a real fountain, we made some real walls, a real tree, a real inside of a house, and I think, honestly, if you want to try the same challenge, I totally encourage you to, uh, because I've tried this again, uh, this, in case you're curious, I tried this, uh, so that when I'm in Japan, you have something fun to watch, and I hope that that's what you feel like this was. If you did, then like this video and let me know, because it helps out the channel a lot. Let's know you do like these fun challenge videos, and you want to maybe see more of them on here, uh, you can subscribe if you're new around here. If you want to see more weird challenges like this, again, I collected every block in survival, I've now made a house from every single block, two separate times, you probably didn't see the first one, so I'll link that down below, just in case you want to see, uh, you know, if some people like to watch train, uh, you know, crashes in slow motion. I'll be honest, sometimes I watch uh, people die or whatever, and if you want to watch the Minecraft equivalent, then this house right here is that. But no, for now, thank you very much for watching this video. I totally encourage you to check this stuff out, because I find it so fun, and hopefully you did as well. But for now, I guess I'm going to have to see you all in the next video. Goodbye.